honored that I present to you the class of 2023. families and friends of our graduates. At this time, please remain standing for the presentation of colors, followed by our national anthem and Pledge of Allegiance. Please remove your hats. All members of the armed forces and veterans may render the military salute in the manner provided for individuals in uniform. Please remain standing until the color guard leaves the field.
reflection presenter was selected from multiple speeches submitted by students who wanted to reflect upon their experiences at Titusville High School and what it means to be a Terrier. Please welcome our 2023 Pause for Reflection winner, Michael Tarver. They say that picturing everybody naked is supposed to help, you know, with this speech, but right now I feel a little bit <laughs> uncomfortable. Especially looking at Mr. Bainbridge. <laughs> it's an amazing time to be a senior, yet also extremely nerve-wracking. And today as we celebrate the milestone of moving forward in life, we reminisce about how we spent a part of our lives here and a part of our recent lives have sleeping at home with the zoom open and the voices of our teachers in the background asking, are you still here? <laughs> Even though COVID-19 turned our lives upside down, we remember dreading Mondays, but still managing to laugh at the class clowns that made up our sports teams. We remember the times we took W so big, the whole school celebrated, whether they were tired or not. We also remember the loss of our own educators and underclassmen. However, the thing that separates us from other classes is that we took pride in our actions. Never once in my four years here did I witness a moment where our class wasn't cheering, supporting, or coming together as a family that we are. And as we walk out into the real world with goals to be successful, any grudges we may hold will fade. But the ties we have with each other will continue to bind us. Even as we build new bridges of friendships and connections through struggles and successes we have yet to endure, the class of 2023 will always be remembered as that class that endured. Never once backing down from a challenge and never once kneeling in the face of failure, or as our generation likes to call it, call it lacking. When writing this, I thought about giving you words of wisdom or encouragement, but the students who are smarter than me, as much as I hate to admit that, know that my best quotes are big, no cap, and I'm screaming. <clears throat> Though I never did understand where those slang phrases came from. However, what I can tell you is, is that it's never too late to make a change. In the beginning of my senior year, I didn't really care that much. I just wanted to graduate and leave. I had no plan. I was just hoping that everything would go all right. But as I sat in my mom's car one day explaining modern slang so she knows that the kids she teaches aren't making fun of her when they say, Gee. <clears throat> I realized that I was only delaying the inevitable judgment day. As it drew closer and closer, it was almost like going home to your family and wondering what excuse would make it seem like it wasn't your fault you stole the bathroom soap dispenser, but a TikTok trend made you quote unquote cop a devious lick. <sighs> but with the support of my friends, family, acquaintances, counselors, teachers, and my lovely girlfriend, Deja, and the spirit of this class, I managed to maintain all A's for my last year of high school, hold my GPA just above the bright future threshold to help me pursue my future career in software engineering. So as we walk across the stage today and move on to a new chapter in life, we will always think back on the experiences we've had in high school. We will always be proud of graduating with the class of 2023, regardless of the couple of notorious things we may have heard or seen. The moral of the story being that anything is possible if you try. In fact, the potential that each and every one of you holds is unimaginable. So when you're becoming doctors, lawyers, scientists, engineers, sports stars, and possibly even celebrities, if you feel overwhelmed, just remember that your terrier family, friends, loved ones will always support you through thick and thin. Also, if you're a celebrity, call me. <clears throat> one last thing I will add to the end of the speech is a shout out to the individuals and groups who have made our class one of the best from 2019 to 2023. Shout out to the coaches and those of you who have contributed to our sports teams including golf, wrestling, swim and dive, track and field, football, baseball, softball, volleyball, bowling, cross country, basketball, tennis, and beach volleyball. 
Shout out to our Student Government Association, Ms. Hannon, who is not here. Spirit Squad leader, Ms. Rios, and Ms. Brown for our senior sponsor. They have made our senior year the best we could have asked for. Shout out to our administrators, teachers, volunteers, and especially our hardworking counselors for making sure each and every single one of us can walk across the stage today. Shout out to our band and ROTC programs for being one of the best in the state and to our clubs and programs that opened up new opportunities and provided fresh experiences to the student body. And finally, shout out to the student body for making everything possible and providing the best possible four years of high school that anyone could ask for. One last thing before Mad Dog Dumonte comes up to the stage. If I could please have JJ Hall come up here. Everyone give a round of applause for JJ Hall. JJ is going to be leading us in our uh, Terrier Pride chant one last time before we graduate. If you don't know the lyrics, your lyrics are the Terriers, Terriers, Terriers. Thank you for listening to my speech. Everyone give a round of applause for JJ. Can I have the class of 2023 stand up now before we do this? The class is gonna do it, and then I'm gonna do it one more time, and I want all the parents to do it. See how loud we can get here. All right, ready? Who are we? The mighty, mighty, the boy kicking. Now bring it all down now, all the way down now. That's pretty quiet for the last time. Hopefully the parents get you loud. You guys ready? Yeah. Who are we? The mighty, mighty, the boy kicking. Now bring it all down now. All the way down now. Thank you very much. Hey, hey, Michael. Michael. Please welcome our next junior speaker, our SGA senior class president, Madeline Dumont. We started out as mere puppies. Our freshman year was like no other. It started out as a normal year. We had a first class orientation, glow in the dark pep rally, homecoming, midterms, exams. But as we were preparing for spring break, the world came to stop. We left our break and did not know that we would finish the rest of the year on our computers in our homes. The coronavirus shut down almost everything. Grocery stores, the movies, workplaces, theme parks, restaurants, and yes, even our schools. It was extremely difficult trying to adjust to do school from home. Trying to learn geometry, chemistry, English, all AP classes through the screen of a computer. Sophomore year was known as the year of the split. Some students did in-person learning, while others continued at home online. Those of us that were in school had to follow so many rules. Masks all the time, even at football games. Social distancing, no prep rallies, no class meetings, no dances. So no home, so no homecoming, no prom, nothing. I was an e-learner. I did school from home. But at home, there were so many distractions. From my dogs, my siblings, my parents, my phone, the movies that I would watch on Netflix, and sleeping in. Teachers were trying to do their best, juggling not only in class, in school classes, but also trying to teach e-learners. At the same time, trying to make sure that everyone understood what was going on, from note taking to examples of how to do math. Needless to say, a lot of our grades kind of went downhill. As I look back, I really do wish that I tried and paid attention a little more. Junior year, we were all back in school, and the mask mandate was lifted. E-learning went away, and we are finally back to reconnect with our friends, teachers, and our administrators. 
Our football stadium was full. We had headphones. We even had homecoming in the Yet even though we were back, it did not just somehow feel like we had left. Now we are here. Our senior year is about to begin. We had the full stadium with and we are now the big dogs on campus. We had our final class meeting, homecoming, glow in the dark pep rally, and a winning football team. We had prom, grad bash, and now we're here at our graduation. Our high school experience has been definitely no other. There will never be another class that has had a roller of hardships that have gotten us to today. We are here in our cap and gowns and courts, ready to walk across the stage to begin our next adventure. I hope, I hope that we all remember that, that even though we've had a few tough years, it's to the support of our families, families friends, friends, teachers, administrators, lunch ladies, and, and so much, much more. more. Some of us are here because we all have that one teacher that we spill the drama, drama skip a class, class, and not only share laughs, but tears with. Terriers. I hope, I hope that you remember where you came from, because once a terrier, always a terrier. A mighty, mighty terrier. Please welcome our next student speaker, our salutatorian, Aiden Spear. Good evening, class of 2023, my family, my friends, my uh, faculty. Um, to begin, I never imagined that standing here as was even possible. Um, I stayed on campus all four years. I took one dual enrollment class uh, for fun. Uh, I honored my gift uh, of music uh, all four years. I took a few orchestra classes every semester. Um, I did my best with academics and my AP classes, and uh, I pushed myself to achieve my uh, LA's throughout schooling, and I studied hard, I asked questions, and I confided in my teachers and my mentors. And on top of that, I've done Boy Scouts uh, since I was a young kid, and I just recently got my Eagle Scout Award. Um, and of course, uh, that's all due to my family, my extended family, friends and mentors, like I said. Uh, my parents, uh, my Mimi and Mr. Rick, you guys, and my sister, you guys have, you guys mean the world to me. Um, and there's so many more people uh, who I would like to thank. And honestly, none of that matters. None of it matters going forward, and they don't define who I am as a person uh, at all, but instead these experiences are going to be what my life is built on, they're going to be a foundation for what my life is going to be built on for, the, uh, for my college career. Uh, we're all about to start on a new chapter beyond high school, and everything we have done before uh, today sorry, is a prologue to what will be written in our lives next. The foundation that has been established but a beginning. We have our whole lives ahead of us, and this foundation will be a rock we can build our futures on. Um, so I had a bit of a parable, if you will. So two men built their houses. One man, the wise man, built his house on solid rock, and the foolish man built his on sand. The houses were of the same quality, yet one stood the test of time when rains came, floods waged, and uh, winds blew, uh, and they beat on those houses. And you can imagine which one is still standing. And as we stand here today, uh, us being the houses on the brink of our high school graduation, I want to take a moment to talk about the importance of having these foundations and the importance of having solid work ethic and perseverance, and how they can pave the way for success and beyond these halls. Um, so work ethic, don't no, know. Uh, fancy definition, defined as the principle that hard work is intrinsically virtuous or worthy of a reward. It's the idea that through discipline, perseverance, and dedication, we can achieve our goals and create the life we want. When moving forward into the next chapter of our lives, whether that be college, trade school, or the workforce, we will encounter challenges that will test our resolve. We may find ourselves facing these rains, floods, and winds that perhaps seem insurmountable. But it's in these moments where we should dig deep and remember where we came from. Our families and teachers have instilled so many foundational ideals in us, 
and it is through our faith, determination, and willingness to put in the time and effort that we will overcome these challenges and come out stronger on the other side. The rewards of, these, of this kind of uh, faith and determination are immense. It's success in our chosen field, uh, financial stability, and solid uh, and healthy relationships, personal fulfillment is just a few. And so, like I said, as we embark on this journey, I urge you all to remember these values. The rock on which you build your house. How are you going to use your foundation to brave these storms and stand strong even when it seems impossible? Remember that success is not handed to us on a silver platter, but it's rather granted through our faith and determination. And so when the inevitable rains come, and the floods rage and the winds blow, and beat on them, lean on your foundation. It is a rock. Congratulations, class of 2023. We have the rest of our lives ahead of us, and our foundation is a solid one. May your path be paved with blessings. obstacles that appear difficult, difficult to overcome lose this sense of determination. The only way that we will ever achieve what we truly want in life is through hard work and grit. Whether you plan to pursue a post-secondary education, or join the military, or even attend trade school, or even go straight into your career, you cannot achieve this without continuing to push yourself to do hard things and keeping an optimistic mindset. In the words of Taylor Swift, is getting up, back up, and fighting for what you want over and over again, even though every time you've got before you've lost. So seniors, after today, I am hoping that you all are excited to jump into your life head first, ready to do whatever is necessary to take on the world. Thank you all, and good luck. Go Terriers! Pride. 
I am proud of the perseverance this class has shown. Not long after you walked into the doors of Titusville High School, we were forced to close them on you, and we shut down your traditional education, and we endured e-learning together. You missed out on numerous opportunities that have traditionally been a high school student's rite of passage for years, but through all of this, you showed resilience. You have shown character. You have shown dedication to your future. I applaud you for your perseverance. This quality will continue to carry you through life. You faced unprecedented challenges throughout your high school career that seemed impossible, and yet here you are. Nelson Mandela said, it always seems impossible until it's done. And class of 2023, you did it. Graduates, I'd like to share some advice with you today that has helped me persevere through challenging times in my life. First, build relationships. Life's journey is much more enjoyable when you have people to share your accomplishments with. Second, cherish the time that you have. It goes so fast. Always live in the moment and be present in that moment. And third, embrace lifelong learning. Continue to grow and educate yourself. Education doesn't stop after high school or even after college. The most successful people continue to read and research and take part in dialogue. We have been on this adventure together, and it's been my honor to watch you grow into the young men and women that you are today. The walls of Titus High School hold a lasting memory of each of you. Memories like J.J. Hall getting hyped up at Pepper Alley's and Gaze will live on as a part of THS history. Number four, Xavier and Taylor will forever have lasting memories in this very stadium where he helped lead our football team as we brought back both the Hudson Trophy and the Battle of U.S. 1 Trophy. Yeah. Alyssa Serena, cleaning house at the awards ceremony, will echo through the theater for years to come. Maddie Dumonte, leading you on your final walk through campus for the traditional clap out and senior video, will be a memory etched into the Titusville High School traditions. Marcus Griffin, passionately playing the violin. Kayla Bors, Belting out verses as Elsa during the Merrier Terrier. Hannah Worthington, pitching a softball like a beast. And of course, all of the seniors that gave me great air as they waited until the very last second to complete their online courses and finish their graduation requirements. I will always remember you. Students, each of you have carried a heavy load on your journey to this moment. Some of you faced family struggles, illnesses, emotional stress, even homelessness. Regardless of what challenge came your way, you persevered through it. And whether you know it or not, you all have a special place in my heart. I cherish the memories you have created at Titusville High School, and I am certain your family and friends are proud of you and your accomplishments as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we have 266 incredible seniors graduating this evening. Who are receiving an Associate of Arts degree from Eastern Florida State College in addition to their high school diplomas. At this time, with those 16 students, we stand to be recognized. We also have six students who are advanced placement and diploma candidates and two who are advanced placement diploma recipients. To earn this distinction, students must take and pass at least six College Board AP exams. And this time, would our AP Diploma candidates and recipients please stand to be recognized. And this year we have seven AP Capstone Diploma candidates. These students took and passed a minimum of six AP courses, including AP Capstone Seminar and AP Capstone Research. At this time, would our AP Capstone Diploma candidates please stand to be recognized.
and we have 101 students graduating with honors. Students graduating with honors must maintain a 3.5 or higher cumulative GPA. At this time, would our honor grads please stand to be recognized? One hundred and twenty-two of our students earned an industry certification through a career and technical education course this year. These certifications prepare our students for post-secondary careers. At this time, would all of our seniors, seniors earning this distinction please stand to be recognized. And last, but certainly not least, we have four courageous young men and women who have enlisted in the military. At this time, would these students please stand to be recognized. Class of 2023, with distinctions such as these, I have complete faith in you. And please remember, in the words of author Roy T. Bennett, you are braver than you think, more talented than you know, and capable of more than you can imagine. Congratulations, Class of 2023. You're the first group to make me get teary-eyed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Class of 2023, as I said previously, has 16 seniors earning their Associate of Arts degree in addition to their high school diploma. At this time, with those seniors graduating today with their AA, Please stand and remain standing. On behalf of our president, Dr. James Ritchie, and the Board of Trustees of System Forty College, it is my honor to confer upon you the academic degree of Associate of Arts. In doing so, I also assign you all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Titans. You may be seated. At this time, we are moving into the presentation of our diplomas. I ask that you please hold your applause as we call each name to ensure that all guests are able to hear the names of their graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with immense pride that we introduce the graduates of Titusville High School's class of 2023. Woo! Alyssa Michelle Trainer, AA degree with honors. Aiden Michael Spur with honors. Matthew Leone Dumonte with honors. Michael D. Tarver. Ezra Cornelius Oderman with honors. Eva Yolanda Leanne Weiner with honors. Emily Nicole Adderley. Destiny Ann Atkins with honors. Lorna Ruby Angles. Ella Paige Austin with honors. Honors. Zoe 
Chloe Nicole Melcher with honors. Carrie Sean Bellflower. Dennis Matthew Brown. Kanye Alexander Brown. Gabriel M. Ryan. Chaparro with honors. Tadasia Burke. Douglas. 
Janae Neves with honors. Samir H. Mesny with honors.
Peterson. Lynn Stevens. Wow. 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 
Shaker with an arm. Becky Lonnie L. Sheridan with an arm. Patrick M. Sherrill. Warren, 8 degree, with 